This is a nifty little tool that I use for measuring the depth of tires that I purchased online for around 10 bucks. I found this to be a very, very easy way to accurately determine the tread depth of my tires very quickly. And it measures by 1 seconds of an inch. So this is the pin down here that measures the depth. So right down here would be 7 seconds of an inch. So if I did a 360 degree rotation of the needle, this will constitute 14 30 seconds. So it's slightly under a half an inch. So instead of doing a standard front to back crisscross tire rotation method, just figure out which tire has the most wear and the least wear and position the tire on the corner of the car that's appropriate based upon the wear of the tire. You take a measurement reading of the tread depth of all four tires using this depth gauge and the tire that has the least amount of wear you put in the right front corner of the car. The one that has the second least amount of wear you put on the left side. And then the ones that have the most wear you put in the rear. And then you keep taking measurements like every 6,000 miles or so until the wear on the front tires catch up to the rear. Then you cycle the rear tires back to the front. All right, so we had three tires that were right here at six and a half. And then we had one a little bit over seven. So we'll take that tire a little over seven and put it in the right front corner of the car. This method of tire rotation based upon tread depth should be based on tires that have acceptable tread depth, not worn out. Anything in the yellow zone is okay. When you're approaching the red zone, start thinking about replacing the tire. If the tire has unacceptable tread depth or the tire is over six years old, the tire should be replaced. You could determine the age of the tire by looking at this date stamp on the tire. In this example, this tire was manufactured on the 42nd week of 2014. 